today we're in Bel Air. I'm speaking with Terry Smith, supervisor of Forest Home Township. Terry, in Forest Home Township, there's part of the Glacial Hills, which is a really cool pathway. Can you tell us about it? Uh, certainly, uh, Abigail. Uh, the it uh, is comprised right now of 800 acres that is actually owned by three stakeholders: the Village of Bel Air. Uh, Forest Home Township in Antrim County. Antrim County is the largest stakeholder with about 70% of the surface area under their uh, title. Uh, Forest Home with about 25 and then the remaining 5% owned by the village. So that, uh, and that makes up the total package and at this present time there isn't any plans to expand that. Uh, and on that we have the 31 and a half miles of trail that is open for uh, you know bicycling and uh, hiking uh, that allows people to actually access the whole entire 800 acres something that uh, uh, is a great thing for the public to be able to get on and use all that land. You were part of the planning process to bring this acreage of hiking and biking trails to this area six years ago. Um, so what went into that planning process? Why did you want to bring this to this area? Well, uh, it was one of my uh, goals, but I certainly didn't do it alone. There was uh, a number of people that also thought it was a good idea. I am a, was a bicycler, I am a bicycler, and so I thought, how cool would that be? Uh, so we started into this uh, procedure to get the land into a, a all contiguous, the 800 acres, and then uh, with the help of uh, like Grand Traverse Regional Land Conservancy uh, that stepped out of their mold a little bit in their uh, uh, just acquiring the land, they actually helped us be stewards to the land. So uh, when <clears throat> after we uh, got the land, it was pretty easy then with their help to start construction on the trail. And so now, as I said, 31 and a half miles later, uh, it's up there for everybody's use. And it's great too because not only is it a wonderful access to people right here in this area, but also it brings tourism to this area, which is a huge part of Bel Air oh. and the county. Oh, absolutely. There are uh, a number of studies done by uh, uh, nationwide and actually international biking associations like IMBA mm -hmm. that uh, they have the financial uh, information on how valuable it is and uh, it is not uncommon any longer for a little town of Bel Air having containing Shorts Brewery that's uh, is making its own uh, notoriety or uh, famous or whatever <laughs> uh, when you go uh, downtown now there's uh, be six cars out in front or seven cars or whatever there might be at any one time half or more of them are either going to have bicycles or kayaks or some mm -hmm. recreational type uh, implement on them and so that's just great to see so they're 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 coming for that reason so absolutely it has so with having three owners of this land that's behind us it's a pretty mm -hmm. It's a hunt, over 800 acres, and the three owners, that's pretty uncommon. How have you seen it work so far with having three people being able to have a say in this? Well, it's uh, because of the, the nature of the project. It's for everybody's greater good. It isn't in this particular case where somebody is going to get, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, it's good for the whole community, and I think that's seen. So... Mm -hmm. uh, it, it has been one of the uh, most rewarding programs that I've ever had working with uh, Forest Home Township, being connected with it, because we haven't had uh, Atlanta uh, animosity or anything between the groups. Mm -hmm. We've all been able to play well in the same sandbox. It's worked out very well for us, I think just because of what it is. Terrific. And, you know, when it started, it was primarily funded by grants and now donations. So mm -hmm. I really want to let people know, not only for visiting purposes, if they want to visit the Glacial Hills Pathways, but also to keep it funded, how can they get more information? Is there a website that they can go to? Yes, there is a website. It's uh, glacialhillstrails.org. 
and uh, it explains to you how you can uh, leave donations there. Uh, if you're of a mind when you ride the trail, there are some tubes that are available. You can just shove your cash right in that little tube <laughs> as well. That helps out. Uh, but uh, yeah, so donations is what we plan on moving ahead. Terrific. Well, thank you so much, Terry, for joining me. You're welcome. Thank you. In Bel Air, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.